Hey guys, who are we here and welcome back to Dying Light 2 episode 5. Which day? Well, I don't know. I think with today we're gonna focus on missions. Whether it be a side mission, a main mission, whatever the case is, whatever the case is, we'll do it. Okay. Come now. Let's see, so there's one more side mission that I know of. It's right down over there. Here in the bazaar, and it's nighttime. That is not what I want. Well, actually, it's not quite nighttime yet, but let's go take a nap for like, I don't know, a few minutes. <laughs> All right, it's officially now nighttime. Let's make it daytime. All right. Be talking to that man down there. He's got a problem. The worst thing was I don't know what his problem is quite yet, but right now I need to quickly get on mine open your doors. Use this as a proper scene. You need to just do that, that, this, that. No. There we go. Do it. Okay, he door stars themselves. Is that really the case? Let's find that out. Then I don't have to worry about losing them myself. <laughs> Didn't know the bazaar had automatic doors. Interesting. All right, you. Uh, I don't know what your name is. Uh, let's see, what do you want? Can ask me? Or no. Are allergic to making money. Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to give me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Truly, who's been poisoned? From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But I don't sell water. Liar. Luke told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Things are something out of control. What's your proof? Oh, wait a minute. Your proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water damage. You're buying, Julian? You're fucking toast. Oh, man, things got heated. Woo! And Julian, you're right, man. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how would someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Yeah. Knowing that shit at Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Oh. Even if he did, my water is pure as melted snowflakes. But, didn't you just say you don't, you don't sell water? But maybe it wasn't a store probably? Uh, what happened? You sure? How do you store it? I buy bottles. There's no way it could become contaminated. Not a chance. My supplier, Marco, always has clean water. Uh, maybe it's revenge or something? So, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Um, wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe Marco. Your supplier. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lived above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Hamfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? Sure. I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans, and can you go warn him? He's also on Hamfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. Yeah, I know, honestly. We're gonna lie, we're going to be doing the mission called Cheers, okay. Alright, so... We 
we had to go this way. First of all, uh, shop. Let's trade. Okay, don't have any valuables to sell. I'd like to buy one of these. I'm very poor. Got it. Okay, that's why looting is so important. Because if you don't got money, you can't buy anything, and if you don't loot, you can't sell anything. Alright, now we are. Okay. So we have. We have two places we can go. A number one and a number two. A number two is to go to Hans. And the other one is to Mark. Well, we need to go to Hans. I mean, if he bought one of the bottles, he said that would be poison. Then we better go. As in now. Let me turn on my light. Even though it's in the middle of the day, it'll help us if we ever go into dark areas. It'll be on automatically. Come on, man. There we go. Get over there. Let's go. So we need to. Two enemies this way. Excuse me, I'm about to get in here. Anything for me? No? Okay. Ah! Ow! Uh, that's all the zombies. Up! Up! Go up! Quick! Up! 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 Further up! 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 up. Okay, uh, now into the truck. Okay, alright. I think you should have fallen off, but hey. It's fine. We need to get to Hans before he drinks the water. Let me up! There we go. Uh, to the number two, we have to hurry. Now, why would Marco poison the water? Something must have gone down between them. Like Julian said, Marco possibly has an axe to grind. Let's see. Marco over there and Hans. Ah, I wanted that. Excuse me, zombie, I don't got time for you. A man's possibly about, about to or has not yet drank poison water. We gotta stop him before he dies. If it kills, I don't even know. But still, uh, um, I need to go here. Hans? Hans, you there? Oh, gotta open the door. Lockpick easy, okay. Say it's easy. Ah, oh, so close. There we go. Hans? <laughs> that, was, that was good timing. Uh oh. Julian. It might be contaminated. He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a few hundred meters west of here. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. And that what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Ah, uh, true point. I'll go. Alright, go, go, go. Uh, you need to get a Hans fast. Hope he hasn't drank that water yet. Uh, Hans is this way. Excuse me! 
I got possibly a life to save. Let me up! Quick! Man, I think this video only comes out on Monday. And things will properly be in order. In the way I want this channel to run. One game at a time. Episodes of the same game. Monday to Thursday. And Friday and Saturday will be multiplayer stuff. And not only keep our memories fresh of what has previously happened in the game, but it'll also give us more time. Hunt. Hunt. Oh, wait, is he? Hunt? Hunt, are you alright? Hunt, are you Hunt? What do you want? But did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It was poison. Oh, shit. That may have been poison, Hans. One sip. So I spat the shit right out. Must have mixed up the bottles again. Whatever. I mean, whatever. Are you usually this calm about being poisoned? Who gives a shit? Not my wife, I bet. Don't think she loves me anymore. Well, she wanted me to give me the booze. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already. Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that. My Anna. She thinks the alcohol is strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say a romance is dead. Here. For making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. <laughs> ah, happy ending, I guess, since you this mission. It's kind of sweet. Anyway, as I was saying, the Friday and Saturday is will be then be focused on multiplayer. Which will give us more chance to see more multiplayer stuff. <laughs> Instead of just once a week and there's a few multiplayer games that I cover, it just takes forever for, for the next episode of the other games to come and whatnot. Like I haven't even recorded the fourth episode of Halo multiplayer yet and I it's gonna come at some point. Let's make our way over to Marco, the water supplier for Julian, and see if he poisoned the water. He's right here, so he's on this level. Hmm. Door! Let's just walk over the zombie body! It's not letting me walk over, it's throwing me off of the body. This is more I try, so there's gotta be another way in. But where? Oh, where is that? Let's see, up here? Well, it's open window. He is... He's one level down, though. Loot, loot. Loot at every moment you get. Let's see, what's here? Rice, rice, and flour. Door I can open. Oh. Oh, okay. We're <laughs> good. <laughs> Thought for a moment I fell off too far. Where is this man's? I see a green outline. You guys see that too? Is that our man? Find Marco. Is this, is this Marco? What you got in the fridge, Marco? Nothing. Why's your fridge empty, Marco? Okay, another water thief. What? Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. Alright? Hmm. Julian claims otherwise. Sure. 
Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Okay, cool. Let's go slay some zombies. All right. Uh, where is my point of order? Uh, where's my entrance? Anything in here? No. Ooh. What you got in here? Nothing. You serious? No, this is probably your home, so you probably have all your stuff. We have next to nothing. Alright, down we go. Ooh, I'm being spotted. Okay, well, okay, so this. How many can I see through the wall with the outlines? There's one coming. Hi. Let's say you're coming here. Get on the shelf. Zombie, anybody? Ten dollars. <laughs> uh, oh. Get out of here. Might as well deal with all you. They didn't loot this place up. Come at me. Is that all of you already? Man. Alright. Nice all piled up except for two zombies. You just leave the zombie on the shelf. And Marco has something else to sell. Ooh, weapon! I don't mind your blood now. What's he here? Ooh! I'll call. What's he here? Nothing. Hmm. Ooh, that's just stuff to look at. What's it here? Some electrical parts. It's a broken bottle. Woo! Electrical parts. What's it here? Nothing. Oh, wait. Wiring. Nothing up top. Anything in the bottom? No. Nothing up top and nothing in the bottom. What's this? A hollow top? Okay. What's this? Some flour. Find a brick. A very durable brick. Tends to powder as soon as they hit the wall. What's in here? Ooh, honey and camelina. It's a med kit. Nice. More bricks. <laughs> Take that. And we got here. Wait, immunity booster? Oh. Yes, let's go. Just throw these bricks. Anything I might have missed? Other than another brick? Go fly! Well, I think this zombie was blocking me out of the door here. Yeah. Make way, kid. Easy! Jeez. Okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. Why wait? Oh, generator? Pull harder! There we go. So you really are one of those fucked up too. What? Fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virus. Fucked up in a good way, of course. Mm. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. Commander, the bazaar was poisoned. You'll be blamed if he dies. Ah. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? Yeah, an accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poisoned the water to kill the bandits? Mm, not quite. At least, uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, a while ago, I killed this vial that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I built some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out, 
where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. But I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. Well, what about Julian, though? Go play Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. Mm. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. Wow. So, we got a deal? No. Jerk. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. Do you not, sir? No one would buy even a drop of water for me ever again. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Yeah. Fuck Julian. I've got my own skin to say. So that's the story you ain't hey! Okay, you asked for it. <laughs> hey, you don't. What you think you're doing? Punching me in the face? Letting a fuck someone else die for your own mistakes? Are you nuts? Crazy. Old man! You're done. What do you have on you? Flower. Cool! Seems like an opener though, but didn't he lock the door? Uh, I think your lock was broken anyway. Well, I best go to, go to see Julian. Ah, door! Don't keep me in here! <laughs> Alright. Julian, Julian, Bizarre, which way? Uh, this way. I think I'm gonna stop him before they hang Julian or something. He almost hanged me a while ago. Man, oh man. Ooh. It's a military convoy, what is this? What's it say? An evacuation convoy, okay. Not right now then. Up, up, further up, up. Hmm, well, if you leave me a crate right there. I'll take you out! Ah, oh, he's too strong! Ah! No! Back off! Don't you dare bite me! What's in here? Flower? Nothing but flower. What about you? Am I too weak to take these guys down? Possibly. Yeah. Get over here! At least I punch him once and they die, so... They punch is stronger than this metal pipe to your face! It's actually a fun idea. Very crazy. What if you survived the entire game with just your fists? Hmm. I mean, I could do that if I could just throw away all my weapons, I'll be on uh, my fist out. Let's see, I was busy using... Ooh, this one's more broken than this one. I should finish this one off first. I don't know why I was using the other one instead. Well, you're still asleep. Did that wake you, wake you up? No. That's fine. He points you in the face if you break free. Alright! Time for my fist to meet your face! And he's dead. There's another box over there. Alright. Ooh, wiring and alcohol. Okay. 
Let's get over to the bazaar. There's a mission right here. Now, the thing is, with these missions, if I can get the mission icon on my map, I'll show you they're different than your average side mission. Your average side mission is that exclamation icon right there. This side mission, however, has like a ring around it and an hourglass right next to it. And judging by the icon, as you can barely see next to the side quest name, is an icon of the moon, which means that this mission has to be done at night. But not quite. You can choose to. But you can also do them during the day if you're very brave enough. I'm gonna track you. I'm gonna track you. Keep you tracked. I'll come back for you once I sort it out Julian's story. Hopefully you're still alright. Come on. Grab up and go. You heal up real quick. It's a question mark right here. What we got? Oh crap, wait, wait. Oh I have to have I have the ability to roll. I forgot about that. It's a question mark right here, but hey, we'll get to all the question marks. At some point I want to leave them undiscovered. What did you say to me? You're oh, you're dealing with the zombie, so I'll get run away. Julian needs me right now. Up. I just need to watch out for the inhibitor containers. As soon as they're detected. Oh, hi, sir. Man, some of this music, like some like tunes in it, really gives off some Five Nights at Freddy's vibes. I don't know if it's just me. Even though I've never played Five Nights or any of Five Nights at Freddy's at all, I have watched many. And many videos of that game. Man. I'm gonna think of it. What was the. I think I've only played one horror game or scary game in my entire life so far. Have I? The only one I can think of that's been recent was. Uh, ah, what was it called? Ah, oh, for crying out loud, I. I can see the whole game in front of me. Don't see where you start. I'm gonna throw the whole thing. Ah! There's a second one of it. Layers of Fear, that's it. There's Layers of Fear that I played from start to end. The other game, scary game, it's like. God, what was it, X Files? I don't think. I think I played like a very little bit of it, but never completed the thing. It was ages ago, though. Tell them what? What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Oh man. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. But Julian's supplier poisoned the water. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into his supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial. He Marco, he's dead. I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah. Plaster. 
Just pay me and we'll be even. Yeah. All right. I'll tell Bevan what happened. Why would you mix flour with plaster? I don't even know what the plaster is. Hey, Dennis. How's it been, kid? Could I tell you what did you like yet? Uh, I've been here and there. Do you know the best part is always at the center? And that's where we're going. I have a plan for how to get there. I'll tell you everything on the spot. Meet me on the roof near the main metro station. Okay. Roof near the main metro station, but I'm going to do this mission first. As a rule of mine that I always follow. Oh, okay. It's false. Not always, but I'd like to. Side missions before main missions. Let's get up here. And get back to that kid lying on the ground yelling at the zombies. Another mission over here. And someone I can trade with, the Craftsmaster. Uh, well, I could sell my valuables to you, but I barely have any cash on me, so. Well, can I upgrade anything? No. Yeah, no. Don't need to be a stranger. I haven't done enough. Things to have all the materials yet. Uh, if I land on that truck, I'll be fine. And then I can go from there with the day on the roof here. So. Oh, what? That was make or break, and it broke my legs. Oh uh, man. Uh, at least we just passed the UV zone. We should spawn there at least a while. I hope so. And oh, we did! Great! Let's not try and aim for the truck instead. Open our eyes and look everywhere to see that there's a mattress down below. Okay, let's get up over onto this roof and get to the kid. I'm just kid. Ooh, a nibbler container! All, all things on hold! Depends where this, this, this inhibitor container is. I'm looking, okay, so it is this way. 20 meters, 13 meters, is it in here? Night Runner's hideout. It's this thing, this building, the, the, this question mark we just looked at earlier. It's in the building, isn't it? Well, now I have to. I'm interrupting your meal. Oh, I'm too weak for you, aren't I? Um, so that's a miss, but okay. Back off! I've got things to do. Uh, when you use, yeah, the 15 damage one, yeah. Ooh, I like this weapon. It's so fast! Bring it on! Let's get some action! Open here! Okay, guns up. What you got on you? Nothing, nothing. Ooh, some scrap. And that guy's got nothing on him because he's very, very dead. Um, my way in? I want to activate this Night Runner's hideout. Aha! Ooh. Okay, well, we don't go up. Beeping! What? Are you serious? It's in the safe. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, dear me. The number goes all the way up to 100 or 99. Can brute force this thing, but. Yeesh! Isn't there notes anywhere or something? I can move this, maybe there's something over here. Maybe the code is somewhere. You survived the guess anywhere between any three numbers between zero and a hundred. Whoa, ninety-nine, it's gonna take me forever. Alright. Night runners hideout, let's fix the generator. You just need to start up. 
There we go. Nightrunner's hideout is now ours. What's in here? Ooh, an item. Ooh, it's a safe code. Uh, artifact collectible. And then we need to go over to our collectibles over here. Uh, which one do you use a safe code? Right, this one right here. A net containing a safe code. 101. Okay. Then we know the code for you. 101. One. Come on, I want to get to zero. Zero. One. There we go. And there we go. Inhibitor container containing a single inhibitor. That's fine. Let's go. Well, it's almost night time. The mission is recommended to be done at night. Well, let's go talk to him. See what's up. Up we go. Up we go. Come on. I'm now in Houndfield. Recommended level two in between two and four. Well, I'm currently still at level one, but I mean, I think I can handle it. Cats, get out! Cats, get out! Okay, get the uh, yelling at zombies. They're pretty much deaf, to a point. Right, this is these yeah, these icons are nighttime stories, and they're best done at night. And then when we encounter these missions, we will be given the option to just automatically switch over to nighttime. It doesn't matter what time of the day it is, which is pretty cool, wasn't it? What do you want, buddy? Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Sacred mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you got to know, I'm fetching food for my parents. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen, you're incredibly brave, but I'd really like to help. Uh, I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I can even pay you. How's that? <laughs> oh, now kids are hiring me. Why not? What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you head to Chemical Zone. I was hiding backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. Okay. Oh, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the Chemical Zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It'd be best to get the backpacks at night when the infected aren't around. Sure, if you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. We'll see. Oh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Alright. So, food for the family. This is now our time and our option to switch over to night time. But I'm not going to do that. Thing is, he's not tracking the mission, and I wanted to track the breadwinner. All right, mission is tracked. So we're gonna search the shop for backpacks containing food that Kevin left behind. Okay. Now these shops are the forsaken stores. I'm gonna try and 
tackle a forsaken restore in the middle of the day. Well, technically it's not quite still in the middle of the day, it's 15.22 according to the game. Let's see, to the shop, you need the very edge of the chemical zone, the chemical zone is all, is all those yellow chemicals. All these yellow chemicals here. If I step into that, that stuff will kill me in three seconds. And uh, believe me, watch a timer above me. Four. Okay, basically in four seconds, but still. So this is the store. Ow! It won't hit me. You little. What's happening to him? He's, he's shaking! He's dancing! He's going absolutely crazy! He's still freaking out over there! Get down on the ground! Back off of me! Okay, Buto! We got here some rags. I'll take it. Uh, zombie's still very alive, apparently, because he's still looking at me. We're facing this way, now you're facing that way. What's wrong with you? He's still very, very alive. But freaking out and shaking. Yeah, bam! This one guy's body's in here. I'm just searching real quick before I. There we go. Same thing with this zombie. Search him real quick. Uh, not another one. Guys, I got some things to do. Ow! Quit throwing your things at me! Where's your friend? Your friend's over here. In the chemicals. You? Alright. What's in here? Money! I don't got time for you. I need to get in here. And like I showed you that, some these Forsaken stores are pretty nuts. But sometimes, if you can get in here and stand up before they notice you, you can beat the living life out of everybody. Just make sure you keep moving. <laughs> I'm too weak to take care of any of these fellas by taking them down. Otherwise, I'm more than happy to smack your faces in. Zombies, uh, through whatever this pharmaceutical thing is. Hey! It's so dark without the flashlight. Got the right weapon? Yes, it's a 13. I want to use that. Help! Help! Face! Face! Gotta keep moving. Okay, just one left. I can take it! Cry out loud! Alrighty! There we go. Okay, good. Sir, what are you trying to do? Oh, here's a backpack. Does it contain food? I was two or three, apparently. Where did I turn your bag beforehand? Or did I forget about the bag that I looted like a few seconds ago? <laughs> Probably. What's in here? I'm gonna loot everything. Clean this store flat! Stuff we need. Stuff we can sell. We can get more money so we can buy more things we want. Any 
anything anywhere else. Oh yeah, there's more stuff over here. Give me that can. Give me that other can. What's it here? Feathers. What's that? Another can. What's in here? Rip it up! There we go. And more alcohol. That's it? That's apparently it. We still got that door and that one zombie over there. Nah, you're one of the ones that's gonna be speedy if I try to take you out. Will that wake you up? No. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, you done? You're done. Oh, hi there. Well done. They're done for. I only have two minutes left in this darkness. But that's okay. It's easy way. It's easy to get out of here. Yeah, here's a backpack. Time to go feed that family. Alright, so we got all we need. Got the food from the backpack. So what's in here? It's a hard lockpick. Can we Brian open this lock without losing more than three lockpicks? On the Oh wait, wasn't that it? Ah uh... Wait, 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 wait. There, there. I found it. There we go. We got here feeding supplies. More feeding supplies and even more feeding supplies. Why can't I move? There we go. That seems to be everything. This is the fire extinguisher that can explode when I hit it. That is fine. There's still something over here for me to loot. What is it? Oh, that's a zombie's bag. Alright, that's the entire store loaded. We only have one minute left, but it's fine. We are out of here! Alright. Easy. Honestly, if there's not a volatile in the building, I'm down. If there's a volatile in the building, I'm out. Start the generator. That's fine. More safe places for us to hang out later on. If we ever need to get to a place with UV or whatnot. Okay. Can I get in here by a window or is there a balcony I can drop down onto? Window low. Oh, the opening. Alright. Well, I can't take you guys down in two weeks, so. Guess we is going all out! Alright, I pushed him into the door. And now he's freaking out. Who sees me through a what? Oh, you, you can't even investigate the noise. Are you really gonna come in here and try to hang me? Just because I made some noise! Get out of here. Got my Another one? Are you serious? Sir! Leave me alone! You clearly don't know how to fight. Come on, running gates put up way more of a fight than. You guys. A ladder? Oh, we can get in here from above, too. That's fun. Down we go. Okay. A few zombies to take care of you first. That weapon's now broken. Yeah, this is the one right here. I'm curious. What if I tackle you in my face? Absolutely ham! 
No, you don't. <laughs> oh, you're Man, you must be hard to play this entire game with just your friends. But hey, even if I had to take them down, they all do that, and the things will break, and then I could do that. And that'll be. I've never tried this before. This is so cool. <laughs> Sure, it'll take time. I mean, if you got virals on your butt, it's gonna be very difficult to do with them. Oh, that one of my uh, boxing match, <laughs> the fastest boxing in the world. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to think of it, like, uh, what's that kind of anime that hits like super duper fast? Is it a Goku? I don't look like Mega Dragon Ball Z. It's not my thing. Um, kiddo, your head. Um, uh, okay. Please wait. Yeah, I can see he's busy. Um. Uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> uh, please wait. Uh, okay. I'll come back later, okay? Um, uh, yeah. Um, hi. <laughs> um, I have never seen a glitch like this before. <laughs> well, I've never experienced one like this before. Uh, <laughs> okay. It just says please wait. And Peter, honestly, I've done this mission in daylight before. There shouldn't be a problem. Now, why is it saying please wait? Ugh. Now leave! Now come back, are you, are you okay? Uh, clearly not. No, I see you're not okay, I can see that. Uh, okay, yeah, you know what? Oh man, sirens everywhere because it's an hour to dark. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna climb up here and I'll be right back with that kiddo who's um, a little freaked out. Woo! Oh, this is a great place to go. That is not allowing to be fine, let's go! Oh, I like this. I really, really like this. Back off, son. You done? There we go. It takes forever, but hey, I gotta find it fun. Give me that weapon. All right, it's officially nighttime now. I'll finish this kid's mission and then probably call it. Got some coins. I don't know how many medkits I have. Like, how many medkits do I got? I don't have any equipped, which is bad. Wait a minute. That no, wrong road. This is the road with the med kit. I got 11 level 1s, which I should use first. And I have 4 level 3s. How many more can I craft? Just 5 more. Good! Now I have 9 level 3s. Perfect. Do I need to use the med kit? Yeah, yeah, why not? Alright, 
we go. We land right here. Oh man, everybody sees this zombie coming out. Everybody's just in on taking it out. A zombie and no chance. Thanks for the free kill. Alright, kiddo. I wanna go down one level, please. I'll go down, please. Thank you. Kiddo, you okay? I can see that. I can see you're not okay. Really, this glitch is making this mission impossible to complete. Because all I gotta do is talk to the kid. <laughs> but, uh, seems like, uh, his, uh, neck doesn't wanna play along. Uh, really, what do I gotta do to fix this? Let's try going to sleep. Where's the nearest bed? Nearest bed right here. Is That's a encounter right there. That might be a bell trap. I'm gonna mark the bed. There shouldn't be a howler in here just yet. So we should be okay. Uh, where's my bed that I marked? Literally just up above. <coughs> up above the kiddo. Uh, the encounter has disappeared. Alright, the uh, honor, oh there, there it is. Is it what I was thinking? It is. It is. It's a bolter. Bolters are really rare. Come here, you sucker! Let's go! Take it! I'm about to try my face with this boy. Because these bolters are so fast. Well, that's what they call bolters. They run like their entire life depends on it. Well, it's kind of true. All we do is end them, in, end them anyway. Okay, let's go to sleep and see if this fixes the glitch. See that kid still spinning his head like a uh, daylight. Hmm. Um, okay. Kiddo, honestly, I don't want to have to restart my entire game for you. Really. Oh, he's talking to me. I heard, saw subtitles and I heard his voice. Has the kid finally gone out of his, um,. Hey, he's fixed! Isn't that wonderful? It's here! Finally! That was here a long while ago! Hey, so I think it applies, but... What about those pair of virals behind the... Hey, listen, door? Those two... You are aware that you have... You told me about my parents! Oh, he knows! Hey, those are your parents? That's what I said, isn't it? Mom, Dad... Look who's here! I told you he wouldn't take the feet and run! I know! I know you're hungry! Oh man, this is just sad! Well, I don't want to make him any more upset, so... I'll give this game the first. Uh, right. In here. Awesome! Thanks! That's no problem, buddy. Here, Mum. Here, Dad. Enjoy! Bye now. See you tomorrow. Get I'll be back to feed you again. And here you go. This is the circle weapon. My dad won't be needing it anymore. Thanks again. My parents are also grateful. As you can see. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Both his parents turned into zombies, so we locked him up in here. Oh. Hey, we see the weapon. Uh, wait, isn't my inventory full? Oh, I guess it went to my stash. I do have a skill point to spend, although we are dangerously... We, well, we're in a big need for inhibitors to increase this line downwards. 
So, yeah, I do need 140 health in order to get to the grapple and the rest of the stuff. So, all we can get right now is an air kick. And we can kick people off of ledges. You're pretty sick. I actually don't use that ability, but... A little video of this playing, it looks pretty cool, but I mean... How often do I attack my targets from me from from above? Not much. <laughs> hmm, there's nothing else in my skills here. I have that little icon up there. It usually says there's something new, but uh, there isn't. We have found so far ten inhibitors of 126. <laughs> Yee! There's a lot of inhibitors to find. Luckily, you don't need all 126 to unlock all this stuff. Alright then. Let's see. What can we focus on next stop? So what have we done today? If it would only go to the journal, please. There we go. Okay, I have to use the. I'm trying to scroll down. Alright, so. No. Have we done the breadwinner? And cheers, is that it? I think that's that. Cheers, yeah, was the first one we accepted, and we did that with Marco and uh, Hans. And now we did breadwinner with the. Kid whose uh, head is uh, all over the place. Alright then. Two missions. What shall we do next stop? Well, there is Nightrunner's Hideout right here, which we could claim. Uh, next time, I don't know where we'll start. Probably from over here, if I just quit. Again, why don't we just start at this Night Runner's hideout where we just slept at. And we can run over and do that. Then see what these two side quests are about. The one's called the History Nation and the one is called Fishmuck. Okay. We'll tackle that and then we will we'll continue with the only way out. And see what Hakon wants from us there. Right then. That will be that. So our goal for next episode is this one safe house and the two side missions. We shouldn't be a problem. I think I've dragged it out long enough to the hours and hour of episodes, but I don't know. Maybe it's best that I run the Dying Light series an hour at a time. I don't know. So now I have some missions that might take an entire hour by itself. Maybe even more. I even have a mission away in the future where we, we, we didn't get to it, it's a main mission, so we have to do it. And it's quite long, so I might break it up into two separate videos for that particular mission. I don't know, it, it takes quite a while. But we are very, very far from that quest anyways. We just discovered a dark hollow. Dark Hollows and Forsaken Stars usually don't have volatiles from what I've played and experienced. Okay, I cannot land from that high up yet. And roll. Okay. Respawn. Right then. We have a plan. And that plan we shall execute in the next episode. 
So if you guys haven't seen the first episode or the previous episode of Dying Light 2, you guys can go to the beginning of the video. There will be two cards for popping up there. You can click on those if you're interested. There's also a whole bunch of links in the description. One link will take you to the Dying Light 2 playlist, two others will take you to my Facebook pages, and one other link will take you to my website if you are interested. They are in the bottom of the description. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share it if you really liked it. Comment, subscribe if you wish, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.